the 8 most popular Fendi bags. Welcome to Luxify, we talk about fashion, luxury and basically all the best things life has to offer. Welcome to our video listing the 8 most popular Fendi bags. The House of Fendi was established by Adele and Eduardo Fendi in Rome in 1925. The opening of the first boutique, a handbag shop and fur workshop in Via del Plebiscito followed in 1926, gaining immediate success. Since then, the Fendi family has been at the center of the business, with the help, of course, from the late German designer Karl Lagerfeld. Today headed by Silvia Venturini Fendi and Kim Jones, Fendi continues to be an amazing brand beloved by many. Savoir faire and creativity, combined with the research for high-quality materials and details, are the secret behind the Fendi icons, the baguette and the peekaboo bags. But there are other amazing Fendi bags that are worth getting to know. Here on this video, I'll show you 8 beautiful Fendi bags. Some are very popular right now, others not so much anymore, but they are all iconic of the brand. At the end of the video, there is a bonus fact about the brand that may surprise you. So without further ado, here are the 8 most popular Fendi bags. If you are new here, welcome. Please subscribe and follow us on Instagram at luxicom. Number 8. Fendi Can I The Fendi Can I bag was launched in 2017 and it was instantly popular. The boxy top handle came in several different models, studded with jewels or accented by the F logo. It has a chain strap that allows both shoulder and crossbody carry. Today this style is not so popular anymore, the can I proved to be a passing trend, and today Fendi has only a couple of models available for sale. But still, this bag is iconic of its time. This one is sold for $3,190. Number 7. Fendi Montresor Introduced for summer 2018, this Fendi bag is one of the most famous designer bucket bags. The name translates into My Treasure, which we have to agree suits the bag perfectly. This is a small bag that would fit just the essentials. It features a drawstring fastening and F logo metal accents. The bag comes with two detachable straps, one long and one short, to carry the bag by hand over the shoulder or crossbody. It comes in several materials and prints, like this one in the iconic FF pattern in a raised print that is hand-painted in black. Or this one in brown leather with heat stamped Fendi Roma. Both of them are sold for $1,950. No matter which one you choose, the Fendi Montresor will be an amazing summer staple in your wardrobe. Number 6. Fendi Graffiti. Launched just now in February and first presented at the Fendi Spring Summer 22 show, you could argue this is the bag of the moment. The half moon shape and bold gold logo at the bottom make for an instantly recognizable style that has been sported in numerous times the last fashion month. The bag is supposed to be worn under the arm in a way that the Fendi lettering is visible. It can also be worn crossbody thanks to the adjustable detachable handle and a hooks that allow strap to be attached. It comes in medium, small and nano sizes, though the nano is more of an accessory. This bag is extremely popular right now, but I am sure it hasn't peaked yet, so now is the time to buy it. The small one is sold for $2,590. Number 5. Fendi Croissant The Croissant, designed by Silvia Venturini Fendi, was launched in 1997, the same year as the baguette. Fendi's Croissant shoulder bag is adorned with the house's instantly recognizable FF hardware, which was first introduced by Karl Lagerfeld in the 60s and means fun furs. Made in Italy from smooth leather, it fits your phone, keys, car holder and a few other small essentials and has an adjustable strap that fits over your shoulder. Its understated and subtle look makes this the perfect hobo bag that will go with every outfit you own and will definitely be a staple in your wardrobe. In the 2000s, each new version of the croissant was immediately synonymous with a waiting list. But the most popular model is the soft calf skin that wrinkles and folds like, you guessed it, a croissant. Currently, Fendi doesn't sell the croissant bag anymore, but you can still find it on the resale market. The croissant might not be as popular as the baguette or the peekaboo, for example, but it's a wonderful bag that is definitely a part of Fendi's history. And if you want a bag that carries that same 2000 style as the baguette, but that is not so mainstream, the croissant would be the perfect one for you. 
If you are enjoying this video so far, please subscribe to my channel so I can continue to bring you the best content about fashion and luxury living. Number 4. Fendi First Launched in fall winter 2021, this bag is Fendi's take on the trendy pouch. Having surfaced on the runway a few seasons ago, the casual clutch has made its way back into the spotlight at the Fendi show. The brainchild of Silvia Venturini Fendi, the Fendi first bag was set to fit Kim Jong's brief of wanting a bag that interprets the signature double F monogram. Instead of going the literal route, Mrs. Fendi took a more low-key approach that feels and looks really modern. The small Fendi first in Napa leather comes in seven different colors and is sold for $3,100. Number 3. Fendi Sunshine Tote Totes have always been a part of Fendi's offerings, but the sunshine was only introduced in 2020. This shopper bag is made from leather with heat-stamped Fendi Roma in the front and stiff tortoise shell plexiglass handles. It is equipped with a spacious internal compartment and will no doubt fit all you need. The medium one can be carried by hand or worn over the shoulder, thanks to the two handles and detachable shoulder strap. This is one of the most popular totes right now and would be an amazing addition to any collection. The medium Fendi Sunshine Tote is sold for $2,950. Number 2. Fendi Baguette Launched in a time where minimalism was all people wanted in fashion, the Fendi Baguette is everything but minimalistic. It was a time without social media, and yet it was 1997 when Fendi first launched the first real eat bag in history, the Baguette. Designed by Silvia Venturini Fendi, she christened the bag the Baguette, because the shoulder bag was made to sit comfortably under the arm in the very same way that the French are usually seen carrying their baguettes. Since its introduction, the Baguette instantly became one of the most sought-after bags in the fashion world, and more than 100,000 of these babies were sold in the first year alone. The show Sex and the City is a big part of why this bag became so famous. In 2019, the world saw the return of the iconic It bag, when the fashion house enlisted Sarah Jessica Parker and German influencer Colin Dewar in a new social media campaign. Over time, the bag has evolved into different sizes, materials, and colors. Each new season, there is a new Fendi baguette for us to fall in love with. Today, 25 years after its debut, the Fendi baguette remains a stylish It bag that is iconic of the brand. The baguette with FF motif is sold for $3,290. Number 1. Fendi Peekaboo Also designed by Silvia Venturini Fendi, this bag was first presented at the Fendi Spring 2009 show. Silvia said about the bag, Simplicity is a new eccentricity. I was looking for a traditional yet modern contemporary shape, able to satisfy the most sophisticated women. The simplicity relies in the concept of whispered luxury, resembled by a unique contrast between the rich materials in the inside and its essential materials on the outside. This is the only occasion in which a woman would be recommended to walk around with an unfastened and unlocked bag. The peekaboo has been designed with several compartments and a double closure so that it can be worn half open or half closed, depending on your point of view, of course. When it is only half closed, the bag hints at a color, texture, or letter, creating a surprising contrast, hence its name. It comes in exotic letters, fur, and calf skin, and also comes in multiple colors, patterns, and sizes. The peekaboo is sleek, classic, and timeless, and it is no surprise that it instantly became beloved among celebrities and stylish women around the globe. The peekaboo has had its ups and downs in popularity since its launch, but it is an understated bag that has definitely become a classic. When you buy a peekaboo bag, you can be sure you will be wearing for many years to come. The medium peekaboo bag is sold for $5,000. Let me know in the comments below which one was your favorite. Comment below which brands you would like to know more about. And for sticking with us this far, here is some bonus information. Fur is a big part of Fendi's history. From its founding in 1925 until the 1960s, Fendi was famous for the use of furs and achieved great success for it. But in the 1960s, people's opinion about fur changed drastically. Fur came to be seen as old-fashioned and bourgeois, so the Fendi sisters hired Karl Lagerfeld in 1965 as an attempt to modernize their fur line. 
Lagerfeld, under the sisters' direction, experimented with materials, patterns, finishes, weight, tanning methods, and colors, so that furs would be seen as something completely new, supported by advanced technological craftsmanship, suited to the needs of a public that wanted more accessible and wearable fashion. Fendi's fur collections exploded and gained more popularity quickly. The first couture fur collection, in 1966 by Karl Lagerfeld, was what led Fendi to big international buyers, thanks to the president of Bloomingdale's, who was impressed by the collection. Today, Fendi continues to sell fur, unlike most Amazons that are leaning towards more ethically sourced materials. Thank you for spending some time with us, and make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss a video. In return, I'll provide you with the best content about fashion, travel, and luxury living. See you soon!